Hey, sweetheart, this is a reply to um, WI Guy CCA. I'm just curious, are you Wiccan? Because your name is like Wicca, but split up with Guy in the middle. Just curious. I was trying to figure out, like, is it like W capital I? Or is it W small L? So I have to like do a search and see which one brought up your videos. Um, anyway, I, I just, I know you're really struggling right now and I want to leave you some support. So the very first thing you should know is that number one, you're not alone. There's a lot of us on these rafts and floating in the same big tumultuous ocean. But we can lash our rafts together and travel together on this journey and be stronger because of it. You are very brave and very strong, not only to speak out, but the quiet work, the private soul work that goes on just in acknowledging, just in allowing yourself to be with the truth. Right now, you're in a discovery, you know, um, phase. Like, this is the first part of healing is discovery, you know, becoming consciously aware of what is normal versus what is pathology or at least what is non-pathological versus what is pathology in thoughts, behaviors, the actual experience of an eating disorder. Um, so this is important and I, I encourage you to acknowledge and give yourself credit for facing the truth. There is a, a very significant element of denial for many of us, for probably everybody at some stage in the journey, that we rationalize, we mentally amend, we abbreviate, we find compensatory ways to interpret what we're doing. And yeah, the first step to healing is being open and honest with yourself, and you're doing that. So you deserve a lot of credit for that. That's not, you're right, it's fucking hard, like you said, man. Like, I've been through a lot of tough shit, you know, and definitely this is up there as one of the hardest for me. Um,. want to say I feel for you living living in a homophobic place when you're gay because that's a lot of stress that's a lot of cruelty that's a lot of animosity negativity surrounding you and it's, it's hard it's absolutely hard I feel for you my heart goes out to you with that the most important thing to understand when you're asking the question why do I do this there's a lot of factors, and I can submit you some of my videos that talk more about the origins of eating disorders and why they develop and stuff. But the bottom line is, this is a coping mechanism. This is a way that your brain is found to survive. Initially, these behaviors had a purpose and helped us. Ultimately, they lose their purpose control us and are our ultimate demise. So it is imperative that we acknowledge this truth. And as far as recovery, the definition of recovery is different to everybody. Cure? I don't believe in it. I think it's a myth. Even in the most positive, inspiring recovery stories. There's always that caveat. The voice is there forever. We can never be entirely free. So making peace with that can help. And fighting for your own definition of optimal wellness. Finding that balance that's actually workable. Maximizing health, minimizing illness. For me, that's been the cornerstone of my healing. 
Anna's voice never leaves us. But we can choose not to listen to her. You are not alone, sweetheart. And yes, the road ahead is treacherous, terrifying, difficult. But you are never alone. Write. Make videos. Process it. Share it. Keep reaching out. We are here for you. As far as binge mitigation, um, I do have a method that I implemented. I used to be um, a chronic overeater and binger. And I used to be obese. So, um... One thing that was, unfortunately, my ED shifted to restriction, but, um, sometimes that happens in the healing process. People evolve or, um, end up developing a different ED or, you know, find one isn't working well enough. Anyway, I have some methodologies that might help you and I will submit those as responses to your video as well. I just want to send you love and support right now and remind you that you're not alone and while we aren't therapists we can relate and it's okay to be yourself here and it's okay to admit these things. As far as being angry with yourself or disappointed in yourself, remember we cannot reason with pathology. If eating disorders were rational, we'd not be in this position. You have a genuine illness. Should a cancer patient be angry if his or her tumor grows? Of course not. While you do have some degree of autonomy, you have a genuine disease. It's important to remember that. I'm gonna close because that AC drives me nuts. Much love, precious one. Be well. And remember, you're not alone. Bye, sweetie.